There you go. Figured I'd do another driving video for you guys. Right now we're driving through Munson. I know you guys haven't seen Munson. Well, you did, but it was kind of like at night and it was dark. But. So, um. Figured I'd show you the back roads of Munson. Dude, this is the land I like, guys. I want this land so bad. I would die for this land. <laughs> I really would. I am a straight out southern guy. There's no two ways about it. You know, up here it reminds me so much like the south. It's not even funny. Some parts. Like the farmland and everything like that. But we got a full tank of gas, so we figured we'd just take a little ride. We're actually doing laundry right now. Sounds fun, right, guys? Look at that house, though. That's somebody famous, probably. They yes. gotta drive it like that. Andrea actually went up that driveway one time by mistake. She thought it was the continuance of the road. So we have to turn around. Sure. Look at all this land, guys. It's the die for, right? Those of you who are from the south, you all know what I'm talking about right now. I love these roads where you're just in woods and driving. So, it's just like peaceful to me. I could honestly just fall asleep. Not only that, we're listening to the country. How you guys been? Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Been doing errands, just paid a cable bill today and had a fight with our neighbors. Yeah, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> I got a word or two for those people, but I'm not going to say nothing. But, um, yeah, I'll just let me know what you want me to post next, and I'll do my best to post it. If you want some, uh, more teen deathmatch videos. Or if you all want to see me do a search and destroy video, I'm sure if you ask my fiance nicely, she'll be happy to record me. Maybe you guys like that NASCAR game, like that NASCAR gameplay. Oh, or that. Nice. Yeah. Y'all wanna see more of those NASCAR gameplay videos? Just let me know. Speaking of that, I just did a race. I gotta post it on YouTube. I haven't got a chance to do that yet. Or did I already do that? You might have already done that. No, I don't think I did. I think I meant to, but I forgot about it. I don't know, baby, you got so many. Oh, that house, though, guys.
You're not supposed to drift around these corners. You're supposed to drive around them nice and slow. Enjoy the scenery while you can. <laughs> oh, there's nothing but backwoods, guys. Oh, man. And I love it. And look at the lake down here. Huh? The lake on the other side. And the lake on the other side. So you got backwoods and lakes. That's the country for y'all. This is as country as it gets. Like I said before, those of you down south will know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I promised you a video and I, a bunch just messing around driving. Here's one of them. And uh, once we get more money saved up, we're thinking about going to Vermont. We're still talking about it. Imagine the Vermont country roads. Oh my God. I'm not gonna wanna leave. I'm just gonna wanna keep driving. Uh, all backwoods. Well, you got a house right there, but there's not a lot of houses here, so it's mostly backwoods. And this is where I want to have eventually live. Like, I eventually want a house, like in the woods, like this, kind of. I don't like being on main roads. Now I think we're starting to head into town. But that was pretty cool, right guys? I'm sure you guys enjoyed that ride. Pretty much just went a big circle. Yeah, this is Munson, so. This is the backwoods of Munson though. This is what this is. I'm sure a lot of these people see deers. Wouldn't surprise me. Like my grandma, she had a house like this in the woods and we called her mountain grandma. <laughs> Cause she literally lived on a mountain. And uh, she was, like she was in backwards. There was no two ways about it. A bear actually showed up on her doorstep or her front porch, a bear. Yes, I just said it, bear. <laughs> well, they've shown up on scene. And they got, uh, she had a bear den in the woods. So. You gotta watch out for is fisher cats though. They're migrating somewhere I heard. Those of you who don't know what a fisher cat is, it's a cross between a weasel and a bear. It actually has bear claws and it. it's about the size of a weasel. Maybe a little bigger. But you'll know when they're around because you'll hear, hear this like blood hurtling scream like someone's getting murdered. And that's what you gotta watch out for because that normally means it's eating something. And if this is if this seems cheesy, you're in trouble. There's no outrunning this thing. And if you do outrun it, you're extremely freaking lucky. That's all I gotta say. Cause this guy got bit or scratched or something. My grandfather said over 90 times he died in the hospital because of his injury. So a fisher cat is not something to mess around with. I mean, he was alive for a little while, but not that long. If you looked out over that way, you can see where the tornado cut through. All right down here. See all the broken trees? Uh -oh. That's where the tornado cut through. I don't know if it went that way. Oh, it did. 
dude. Yep, that house is brand new because it took it. Took it down. Yeah, the tornado went all the way down there. And it clipped this turf too. Took the steeple right off. And now we're back in downtown. If you guys enjoyed that little ride that we did, there will be more. <clears throat> the next time Dylan can drive, yeah. I just wanted to show him a little side streets. Uh, you guys are going to notice I'm going to start tilting the camera up a little bit. Just so I'm not filming someone's license plate because I don't want to get copyright for anything. So when we're close to a car and if you guys see me tilt the camera like this, like I'll try to get some of the road, but if you see me tilt it up like that, it normally means I'm trying to get the license plate out of the way of the camera. Because sometimes I didn't even really think about it when I was filming. Some people could say that's copywriting. And you can get in trouble for that. Or some people think that you're trying to spot So from, from now on, I'm just going to tilt the camera up. And all that. Matched to that house right there. Which one? This one? This tan one. Yeah. There, was a, there was a white one there, actually. And the tornado tipped it over on its side. Right off of its thing. Right off of its foundation. This is where George and Mary used to play T ball. That used to be a school. Oh, I don't see it. Make sure you're watching some more night. Make sure that you and I are connected on social media so we can talk about it as it's happening. On Twitter, at Yo Greenwood is where you'll find it. Tornado came off through here, guys. Can you believe that? It actually almost went through Enfield. Stay at the Boxer in Boston for the sold out. I really wish I was here to film this time. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool, huh? I'm a redneck guy, so you gotta excuse me. I mean, if I gotta risk my life just so you guys could get joys out of the videos, then I will. Oh, okay. The first ingredient in Swanson chicken broth <laughs> sounds like this. Oh, blue jay. That is the first ingredient in some oh. other broths. Sounds like this. You guys can see the trees right there. Those trees got hit by the tornado, too. I'm surprised they're still standing. Some of these trees are hundreds of years old. Swanson broth has been trusted for generations. Yeah, they're all dead trees. These leaves will never grow on these trees again. Look at that. Oh, that's a cemetery, huh? Looks like it's empty. That's weird. Well, if you guys enjoyed this ride of a Munson tour, and uh, you want more, I'll be sure to do more when I can. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed, just remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.